Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So as you may have gathered from the title of this video, SpaceX is about to make history once again this summer by being part of the first ever private spacewalk. That's right, the Polaris Dawn mission is due to launch sometime in August, and it will be the first time that a spacewalk will be done by a private company. I know it seems like that's a box that we must have already checked with all these private space launches, but no, we have not. This will be the first. And this mission, which is funded and led by a different billionaire, will be doing a few other firsts. So let's take a look at this Polaris Dawn mission and all of its firsts and see what about it is so different from how NASA does things. So on July 26, 2024, SpaceX announced that the launch of Polaris Dawn, a mission funded by billionaire entrepreneur Jared Isaacman, would be pushed back to mid to late August. It had originally been slated to to launch on July 31st. But according to Sarah Walker, SpaceX's director of the Dragon Mission Management, there is a lot going on on ISS right now. We opted to fly the Crew-9 mission as our next astronaut mission and are ready to fly Polaris Dawn in late summer as soon as we fulfill those obligations. Polaris Dawn, which is named after Polaris, the North Star, is the first of three planned missions in the Polaris program, all of which will be funded and commanded by Isaacman. It is a private human spaceflight mission operated by SpaceX on behalf of Shift4 Payment CEO Jared Isaacman. The flight will be using a SpaceX Crew Dragon capsule, and the mission is to conduct research with the aim of better understanding the effects of spaceflight and space radiation on human health. And Isaacman has actually done this before with SpaceX's pioneering Inspiration4 mission mission, which took Isaacman and three crew members into Earth orbit in September 2021. Netflix actually made a really cute documentary about this mission called Countdown, if you guys haven't already seen it. I thought it was actually a really good look at what it's like for private citizens to suddenly find themselves going to space, doing something and preparing for something that I think a lot of private citizens think you are just never gonna do. But that does appear to be shifting, very slowly shifting, but shifting. The Polaris Dawn crew will consist of Isaacman as the mission commander, who is a pilot in his own right, the actual pilot Scott Kidd Petit, a retired U.S. Air Force lieutenant colonel, and mission specialists Sarah Gillis and Anna Menyon, both of whom are engineers at SpaceX. In fact, I'm sure a lot of you have seen Sarah Gillis before in other SpaceX videos, as she's the one who's responsible for overseeing the astronaut training program for the company's Crew Dragon vehicles. And in fact, she helped train the Inspiration4 crew and is in the Netflix documentary. And now, She's the one going. And in fact, aside from Jared, this will be the first space flight for the entire crew. And like Inspiration4, Polaris Dawn will be a free flyer, zipping around the Earth solo rather than linking up with ISS. But the coming mission will go higher than its predecessor and feature at least one spacewalk. Again, the first ever private extravehicular activity. And they are going to be doing that spacewalk in some fancy new EVA suits. These suits include spiral zippers to make it easier to get in and out of them, a new type of visor to deal with the internal fogging issues that astronauts seem to always have, and a new outer layer that will increase mobility and protection, among other things. And a large point of testing these new suits is about scalability. If we are serious about a moon base or a base on Mars, we're going to need lots of spacesuits. So testing a scalable design for future long-duration missions is an important part of this mission. And also, am I the only one, or is anyone else getting some serious Gemini spacesuit vibes? They are planning a high-altitude orbit of about 700 kilometers, or 435 miles, above the Earth. Now, this is high, very high. In fact, this is the highest crewed flight since the Apollo missions in the 60s and 70s. For comparison, the ISS orbits about 250 miles above the Earth's surface. So this is doing nearly double that. I believe as of right now, just two of the astronauts, Jared and Sarah, will be doing the spacewalks, though all of them will be wearing the EVA suits. Also, they've got this crazy EVA animation, which I will share over on my Patreon, which is just like a full 
epic trailer <laughs> for this Polaris Dawn spacewalk. It's like a Michael Bay meets Spielberg with like insane imagery and views. It's, it's a lot. I mean, if you saw this trailer pitching you a spacewalk, you'd be like, yeah. Yeah, sign me up. Can't share it here because of the music, but if you want to see it, head over to my Patreon and you can watch it in all its glory. Now, this isn't the first delay for Polaris Dawn. It was originally set to launch in late 2022, but the complex and ambitious nature of the mission has seen it be pushed back multiple times. And the July 26th press conference came just 15 days after a rare Falcon 9 mishap. The rocket's upper stage failed to complete a planned orbit raising burn during a July 11th launch, resulting in the loss of the payloads. 20 of SpaceX's Starlink internet satellites. And as of this recording, the cause seems to have been a leak of liquid oxygen. SpaceX traced the issue to a crack in a line of a pressure sensor in the upper stage's liquid oxygen system. But Falcon 9 bounced back with another Starlink launch on July 27th, and this one was successful. The Polaris Dawn mission is scheduled to last just five days in orbit. And another first is their goal to try and hit the highest Earth orbit by a a crewed flight ever with an initial apogee of 1400 kilometers, breaking the previous record set by Gemini 11. The crew will also orbit through parts of the Van Allen radiation belt, conducting 38 science and research experiments. They're planning on launching from Kennedy, so this is definitely one that I hope I am able to watch live. So yeah. That's the mission, a completely non-NASA-led mission that's kind of giving me old school NASA vibes. I think just in terms of the orbit and the spacesuits. They're hoping to break some records, achieve some firsts, and hopefully get us one step closer to sustainability in space. But let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Does this seem like a great idea, a bit scary? I mean, it's definitely dangerous. There's no question about that. I mean, all spacewalks have huge risks, especially when you're trying out a brand new spacesuit. But honestly, I think that the images of the astronauts attached to their space capsule with just their umbilical line is going to be stunning. SpaceX has really upped its game in terms of incredible footage during its launches, so I have no doubt that they are super preparing for this moment and for this image. And I am not mad about it. I am definitely a sucker for a beautiful space photo. I mean, where would this channel be without them? So that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching, and as always, I will see you in the next video.